In this video, we'll install MySQL onto our system. First step is to check and see if we already have MySQL installed. And if you're on a Mac, that's likely the case because it's currently bundled into the operating system. To verify, you'll want to open the command line and type MySQL. If there's no error and MySQL starts, then you obviously already have MySQL installed. If you get an error and it says cannot connect to local MySQL server, that actually still means that MySQL is installed, but that you haven't started it yet. To start MySQL on a Mac, you'll want to go to your system preferences, click on the MySQL button below and start MySQL. If you're on Windows, you'll want to type the following and note that you may need to change the path to match your install location. But if your computer does show an error, such as unrecognized command, then that means that you probably do not have MySQL installed and you'll need to download it. MySQL is supported by MySQL.com. You can download a copy by going to dev.mysql.com slash download slash MySQL. You'll want to select your operating system from the platform dropdown. On a Mac, you'll want to download the latest DMG type, which is the easiest to install. And on a Windows, you'll want to choose the latest MSI type, which is the easiest to install on Windows. After downloading the installer, you'll want to navigate to your downloads folder and run it. After going through the steps of the installer, you should now have MySQL installed in your system. A note for Mac users is that sometimes the Mac installer can error out on Yosemite. Most of the time it's just to a, due to a small problem with the preferences panel, and MySQL will still work, so don't worry about it. You can check out this blog post for more information. Okay, assuming you have MySQL installed, I highly recommend getting a MySQL GUI or a graphical user interface application as well so that you can have an alternative to memorizing MySQL syntax. If you're on a Mac, you'll want to download SQL Pro. It's simple, it works great, and it's free. You can download SQL Pro at sqlpro.com download. If you're on Windows, get the MySQL Workbench. You can download that here. And after downloading the files for your system, click on them to run and follow the standard steps in your platform to install the application. 